Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Wow, Women of Wisdom. Today I'm going to show you how to stitch sari style draped gown. Hope you'll all like it. So let's start with the fabric details. I'm using half meter multicolored brocade fabric for the bodies and also using this brocade fabric for the borders at the bottom hemming of the skirt and I am using 4 meters of net fabrics for the skirt and for the draped as a pallu effect and I am also using 2 meters of sandoon fabric for the lining and some laces to decorate the dress. Now I'll show you how to take measurements. I'm showing you how to cut front bodies pattern on paper. First fold the paper into half as shown and then Mark the body's length. My body's length is 13 inches and I have taken 1 inch extra for the stitching. So it will become 14 inches. Then mark the measurements from the folded side of the paper. Shoulder width 4.75 inches I have taken and armhole depth 5.5 inches I have taken draw line as shown in the video Neck width 2.75 inches I have taken and neck depth for front pattern I have taken 5.5 inches diagonally and give it a shape as a V neck then 0.75 inch for shoulder drop I have taken and draw line as shown in the video. For the chest measurements, take 1 fourth of chest round measurements, adding 4 inches for losing and mark that measurement and I have taken 1 inch extra for stitching. Then for the waist measurements, take 1 fourth of waist round measurements adding 2 inches for losing and mark that measurements and 1 inch extra for stitching and draw the lines as shown in the video. Now for the armhole curve, for the front pattern, take half of armhole depth and go 1 cm inside and mark the point and join this point with armhole curve ruler 
to give it a shape for the front armhole as shown in the video. Now cut the front pattern as per the marked measurements. I have cut the front paper pattern. Now I will cut the one shoulder from this pattern. I will show you how to separate the shoulder. Trace a curve line from the neck to 1 inch down to the armhole depth as shown in the video and then cut on this curve line as shown. Now I'll show you how to cut the front pattern on fabric. Pin your paper cutting of front pattern on the fabric as shown and cut the pattern leaving half inch margin on neck side and on shoulders as shown in the video. Now pin your paper cutting of shoulder pattern on both net and lining fabrics and cut the pattern leaving half inch margin on the bottom side and on neck and on shoulder of the pattern as shown in the video. Now I'll show you the cutting of back bodies pattern. Fold the fabric as shown and then make a straight line on the fabric. And 
then mark the body's length on 14 inches and draw line then shoulder width 4.75 inches and armhole depth 5.5 inches i have taken and draw line neck width 2.75 inches and neck depth for back 1 inch i have taken and give a shape for the back neck 0.75 inch for shoulder drop i have taken for chest measurements take 1/4 of chest round measurements adding 4 inches for ease allowance and 1 inch extra for stitching margin and for the waist measurements 1/4 of waist round measurements adding 2 inch for ease allowance and 1 inch extra for stitching margin and join with the lines as shown in the video draw the shape for the back armhole and i have given a 4.5 inches slit to the back pattern for attaching hooks and now cut the pattern leaving half inch margin on the neck shoulder and armhole as shown in the video Now I'll show you how to cut lining pattern for skirt. Fold the fabric into four, two open and two closed sides here, and four folded sides here. I am making an A-line skirt pattern for this. First of all, make a straight line on the fabric. then mark a point on 1 inch down to that line as shown then from this point mark the length of the skirt that is in my case 32 inches then from this 1 inch point 
mark the waist measurements that is 1/4 of waist round measurements adding 2 inches for ease allowance and 1 inch extra for stitching margin and draw a curve line for the waist as shown in the video and then take double of the waist measurements for the bottom of the skirt as shown and draw a straight line as shown in the video then mark the length of the skirt on this line as shown and give it a curve shape to the bottom of the skirt and cut the skirt pattern leaving half inch margin on the waist cut the net fabric skirt layer for back side as per the lining pattern Now I will show you how to make pleats on the skirt front pattern. Fold the skirt pattern into the middle and mark a point on one and half inch on both sides as shown. Since I am making pleats with three inches of width. For making pleats, I am taking net fabric with 32 inches of width and one and half meters of length.
Place the net fabric on the lining and pin the fabric as shown. And make 3 inches of 6 to 7 pleats as shown in the video. Just like we make pleats for sarees. And after making pleats, make a stitch line to secure these pleats. Now I have all my pattern pieces, front body piece patterns with lining, back body piece with lining and skirt pattern pieces with lining as well. Now place back body pieces facing right side each other and make a stitch line to the neckline, back slit and on the armhole as shown in the video. I have stitched the back bodies and now make small small notches to the curvy areas as shown in the video. And then turn the pattern to the right side as shown. And after then press it to make it set and do the top stitching to the neck, back slit and armhole. I 
am done with the back bodice pattern and now take the shoulder piece of front bodice pattern and place it right on right then make a stitch line to the neck and armhole as shown in the video after stitching make small small notches at the curvy edges and turn it to the right side and press it and do the top stitching Now take front bodice pattern piece and pin the shoulder piece as shown. And then make a stitch line as shown in the video. Now take lining piece of the front bodice pattern and place it facing right side each other and the shoulder piece will be sandwiched in between the layers and then make a stitch line to the neck and armhole as shown in the video. I have stitched the front bodice pattern and now make small small notches at the curvy edges of the pattern and then turn it to the right side and do the top stitching. Now stitch the front bodice pattern and back bodice pattern to the front and back skirt pieces separately as shown in the video. I have done with stitching the both front and back pattern separately. Now I'll show you how to drape the pallu piece to the front pattern. First of all make mark a point on one and half inches. This is the start point of pleating and from this point mark 17 inches down till there we are pleating the net fabric. For this I have taken the net fabric in length that is 2 meters and width of the fabric should be at least 25 inches. We can cut it or adjust it after completed the pleating part 
only. Now start making pleats upwards to the bodies in an angle line and pin each pleats at a time. Take your time and make pleats neatly as shown in the video. Done with the one side of the pleating and now make the pleats to the other side as well.
After completing the pleats, make a stitch line in an angle as shown in the video. I am done with stitching the pleats for both sides. Your net fabric width must be at least 25 inches and make sure don't make fitted pleats. Make little bit loose pleats so that the dress will be easily wearable. Now cut the excess of cloth as shown in the video. Now attach a lace on this pleated pallu as shown in the video. I am also attaching side straps to the dress to tie at the back. For this I have taken strips of brocade fabric. Width of the strips is 3 inches and the length of the strips is 30 inches. Then fold the strip to the right side and make a triangular shape as shown and Make a stitch line all through the strip and then turn the strips to the right side. I have also cut the straight strips of brocade fabric with one and half inches of width. These strips I am using for the border of the net fabric skirt. After joining the lace on the pallu, just attach the back and front piece of the dress on the shoulders and the sides. And also hem the lining skirt as shown in the video. I have stitched the lace on the pallu and also joined the both dress pieces on the sides and shoulders. And I am done with attaching the borders on the net skirt. Now just add the hooks on the back slit and you are done with the easy stitched, beautiful, elegant and gorgeous looking sari style draped gown. Hope you all liked it. Please like, comment, share and also subscribe to my channel for more such upcoming tutorials.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.